Mother Teresa. Saint Mother Teresa, that is. My name is Sarah Ciotti, co-founder of Elite Advisement Group and Transformative Strategies, Inc. I'm really not sure this woman needs an introduction. She has made an impact on this earth that time will never, ever forget. But such profound impact. That's why some of the pictures that you see in my background are those who've had a deep influence and have had some stories with in my lifetime. And she was one of those highlights. And fervently she puts invitation up to her. And she prays fervently. And after she had convinced everybody on the need to forgive, she says this. And believe it or not, there's a lot more to this story than any of us understand. Now ask yourself, each one of you, if you just utter the words, I forgive you, have you forgotten them? Bawa has invited us into his home to have one-on-one -on -one conversations regarding the encounters. I'll be happy to share my experiences, my thoughts, my lessons from this encounter. Bawa Jing speaks exclusively with elite. I go back to my young days again. And again, you know, the most powerful influence in my life, my guru. My guru who knew everybody also knew Mother Teresa. Because I was always with Guruji, we had several meetings with Mother Teresa. Uh, there was sometimes one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes at uh, public meetings, you know, where people could attend. But at each time, what I still recollect most is, she was just the same. No pretenses, no airs, humble to the core. Mother Teresa is a heroine of our times, and to the many honors she has received, including the Nobel Peace Prize, we add with deep affection and endless respect the Presidential Medal of Freedom. What was unique was very razor sharp focused on her mission. Always, always. She didn't miss a beat on when she could pitch to further her mission. I also want to thank the families here in the United States for their continual and delicate love that they have given and sh they have shown by uh, giving their children to become sisters and to serve the poor throughout the world. And what is the mission? To save those most vulnerable, the downtrodden, the people who people would not want to touch, the lepers, the poor people. And what is the motivation in that if you look at it, her life? One singular motivation that in the eyes of the poor and suffering, I see my Lord. It's my prayer for you, that you may grow in holiness through this tender love for the poorest of the poor. But this love begins at home. The 90s were the decade of mega summits of the United Nations. Now I'm in New York. I'm, my work has been focused with the United Nations. I was deeply involved in the United Nations Habitat Summit. And the Habitat Summit was taking place in Istanbul. And we were convening a wisdom keepers gathering. We were talking to the teams and the staff or some of the world's leading religious spiritual people, some people even from royal families, we were going to be bringing to Istanbul. And uh, we had invited the mother. And I remember Mother Teresa's people said, Mother will not stay in a hotel. Mother will stay in a monastery there. And she sleeps on the floor. I asked for a meeting to go and deliver a personal invitation and a message from the office of the Secretary General. She was in the Bronx in New York. I arrived there and uh, they're all huddling together, going in for mass. And uh, I was looking around for mother. A priest came and all these missionaries of charity are sitting on the floor. 
and the priest is doing the mass, everything. I said, where is mother? You know, she called me, she asked me to meet me. And you know where she was? On the floor with everybody else. So humble. When the time came and I had the invitation, so I took the invitation. Also, we had developed a pin, a lapel pin for the Wisdom Keepers Habitat Summit. And I gave her the pin and, I, and the invitation. She catches my hand and takes me to the statue of the Holy Mother, Mother Mary. And fervently she puts the invitation up to her. And she prays fervently. And then the pin she puts back on me. And then she says, please give this to the Secretary General for me. It just touched me to the core of my being. It was, I think, 2003 that she was beatified and became a saint. I was invited to be at the Vatican on the dais in St. Peter's Square with the Holy Father, Pope John Paul, and some distinguished people. But prior to being on that dais, we were taken into the other room where the Holy Father gives audience to people. And they were showing a video about the mother. It was just very profound. At a certain point, Mother starts talking about the power of forgiveness, the need for forgiveness. She went on and on. And I was like saying, yeah, I get it. You know, I get it. And after she had convinced everybody on the need to forgive, she says this. But remember, if you have not forgotten, you have forgiven, then you have not forgiven. Now ask yourself, each one of you, if you just utter the words, I forgive you, have you forgotten them? If you have not forgotten, you have not forgiven. There will be mistakes in life. There will be things that we might regret that we did or say or somebody has done to you or said to you. Don't be in a hurry to forgive. Mark my words again. Don't be in a hurry to forgive. Process it. Understand it. Truly try and be in the person's mind who said or did those things. Then you can forgive. But then never ever remember it again. Rumor has it that this was on the wall of Mother Teresa's bedroom. People are unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good Anyway, honesty and frankness make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. People favor underdogs but follow only top dogs. Fight for the underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Build anyway. People really help but may attack you if you try to help them. Help them anyway. Give the world the best you have and you'll get kicked in the teeth. Give the world your best anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is between God and you. It was never between you and them anyway. Now, I truly hope each of you have been able to align and engage with one of our five episodes. Bawa, thank you so much for joining me on this series. I am so grateful. Most welcome. Let's share give up ourselves in our life. For more info, follow us at Elite Advisement Group or also I am Bawa Jane on all social media platforms. Subscribe today for your exclusive invitation into the world of Bawa Jane. Feel free to take a moment and check out the CRL 
www.thepeopleshow.org. 